Michael Bublé sang rewritten lyrics to Frank Sinatra's iconic song, My Way, on Friday night as a Canadian farewell to Prince Harry and Meghan, including a bow to the Duke. In order to conclude their tour and get ready for the 2025 Winter Invictus Games, the pair was in Vancouver for an opulent gala supper that was attended by 200 people. Before the Duke gave a speech, Bublé sang a modified version of Frank Sinatra's My Way, interspersing references to Prince Harry. It called Harry a visionary and said things like, You've earned each day the right to say, I did it my way. Additionally, the Canadian crooner sang, Our healing wishes for your dad, as a heartfelt tribute to King Charles III, who was just given a cancer diagnosis. Then, Harry, dressed in a dark suit and black tie, spoke to the crowd about the Invictus Games, describing the competitors as embodying courage, leadership, and fortitude. These competitors are made up of sick and injured service members. Megan, 42, accessorized the outfit with Manola Blanick heels, a Logan Hallwell necklace, and an olive green one-shoulder dress by Canadian designer Greta Constantine. After three days of Invictus Games competitions in Whistler and Vancouver, Megan and Harry were supposed to return home to Montecito, California, but they decided to stay an extra night to attend a party with competitors and organizers. The banquet at the Vancouver Convention Center was marked with black and gold Invictus signage, despite not being on the official itinerary and being kept private from the media. As the evening came to a close, Prince Harry entered the stage to a standing ovation from the audience. He made a joke about starting to sing before inviting Bublé to the platform. Being there, according to Bublé, was emotional for him, and he liked that. We can show Harry and Meghan how beautiful this place is. Other lines that Bublé changed were, One man, life-changing plan, he does all he can, he's a visionary. And, Nothing tames, Invictus Games, you play them your way. During his speech, Prince Harry mentioned the Invictus Games and expressed his excitement for the event in the next year. Prince Harry made the following statement during his speech. Our four host First Nations have welcomed us with open arms and have shared their land with each of us, not only tonight but also in the lead up to and during the Games next year. The Invictus Games will commemorate ten years this year. The last ten years have demonstrated the strength of resiliency and the unwavering spirit that each of you embodies. And what a blast it was traveling. The Invictus Games offer a platform for us to showcase your gifts, to inspire the world, and to respect the sacrifices of those we have lost. They are more than just a competition. They are a way of life and a celebration of the human spirit. Invictus is not necessarily about winning a medal, but about the bonds that are built between nations, about the shared journey of recovery that competitors and their families are a part of. The statement reads, it serves as a reminder that we are not defined by our injuries but rather by our strength, commitment, and ability to overcome adversity. Let us keep in mind the words of William Ernest Henley, the poet whose work serves as the inspiration for the Invictus Games, as we continue to get ready for the upcoming year. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Accepting these words, let's keep inspiring the world, as well as each other, with bravery, fortitude, and leadership. About 200 individuals attended the event, which started with the Tsilwatoth Nation representatives leading the Duke and Duchess in while they drummed and sung in traditional regalia. The couple received woven blankets from the Salish people for each of their children as a gift from Jana Sparrow, an indigenous advisor for the games and the sister of Chief Wayne Sparrow of the Musqueam Indian Band. To remind them that their parents are off doing good work, Sparrow suggested that the kids dance with the blankets or cuddle up with them when their parents are gone. Harry participated in an adaptive wheelchair curling competition at the Hillcrest Community Center in downtown Vancouver in the morning before the party. Megan arrived at the last minute, but the eager Duke of Sussex came 90 minutes before the scheduled start time of 11 a.m. to have a private meeting with some of the competitors. Harry was casually dressed for the event in trousers and a sports jacket while Megan looked stunning in a $1,250 centaur camel coat and sculptural gold earrings. Ladies and gents of the press, prepare to see your hometown boy perform well, said Bublé, 
who has been a long-time supporter of the games, as he took to the ice for a game of curling. The couple's three-day trip to Canada culminates in the gala, which marks one year until the 2025 Invictus Games, which will take place in Whistler, British Columbia. On the second day, Harry was filmed by Meghan on her iPhone when she watched him try out a skeleton bobsled, reaching a high speed of 61 miles per hour. Harry was ecstatic. The two also met peacemaker as Wegbulum, a Nigerian strength lifter and former soldier who, despite being a double amputee and having never seen snow before, tested out the skeleton. After meeting the pair during the Invictus Games in Dusseldorf, Germany, last year, when he took home a gold medal in the powerlifting, Peacemaker expressed his happiness at being reunited with them. Despite only making his debut on Thursday, Peacemaker is already getting ready to compete in the skeleton discipline at the 2025 Games. He stated that sports had helped him deal with the injuries he had during a shootout with terrorists from Boko Haram in November 2020. I felt embarrassed about my injuries at first, but after learning about the games, I started playing volleyball, he stated. I feel well and am feeling better now. Being the first African Invictus champion makes me proud, and I feel rejuvenated. It completely altered my perspective. A few hours prior to the couple's appearance on Good Morning America, where Harry declared, I love my family, and that he jumped on a plane to see the king as soon as I could. After discussing his cancer diagnosis over the phone, the couple attended the multi-sport facility at Hillcrest Community Center, which is managed by the city of Vancouver. The 39-year-old expressed his gratitude for having met his father Charles III in person and expressed the hope that the diagnosis will bring the royal family back together. ABC camera crews have been following the pair during their vacation in Canada, and on Thursday they were spotted interviewing the couple next to the track at the Whistler Sliding Center. The two appeared on the Whistler Blackham Mountain Slopes on Wednesday, accompanied by GMA host Will Reeve, who is the son of the late Superman actor Christopher. The couple's 30-minute encounter with Harry's cancer-stricken father in London, the rebranding of their website to Sussex.com, and criticism of the Sussex's excessive use of private jets all contributed to the trip. The Duke and Duchess appeared unfazed by the controversy during their trip, as they were pictured grinning in pictures as they departed a romantic Valentine's Day supper in Whistler on Wednesday night. The pair had earlier that day visited with young ambassadors from First Nations, who are the representatives of the native Canadian nations whose territory the games are being held. Chief Nelson and Wilson Williams gave the pair a private tour of the Squamish Lilwet Cultural Centre in Whistler, where they also met the artists who designed the new Invictus Games emblem. Harry and Meghan said in a statement that The evening and presentation were extremely meaningful. The couple acknowledges the significance of the First Nation communities welcoming the Invictus Games onto their sacred land and are thankful for their warmth and hospitality, said IG2025, adding that they are extremely proud to share the artist's work with the globe.